Hello Virgo, and welcome to your weekly reading. This message will be for July 22nd through the 31st, and we'll have a weekly intention. If you find the message resonates, <clears throat> please feel free to like the video or comment below. Also, if you would like future messages, you can feel free to subscribe. Everyone's always welcome here. I offer monthly and weekly readings on a consistent basis. I'm going to start also doing extended readings, so things will be switching around here on YouTube, but I will always offer at least the monthly guidance messages. <clears throat> I'll still offer snippets of every all the other readings that I'll be extending, but there will definitely be a link below in the description to those readings. So you will have access to that, as well as I'm going to be offering a subscription to all the monthly readings within each sign that are extended for a subscription fee for you. So, go the distance. Also, really quick, if the messages don't resonate, I do apologize in advance. The messages are general. They're not going to resonate for everyone. So, take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, you can also reverse the roles or check any other sign in your birth chart. So, go the distance. So, Virgo, go the distance. This card symbolizes endurance, strength, Kind of like an endurance run where you're going for a long time. So the oracle message that comes with this card is, To bring your dreams to life, you must think long term and pay no attention to the fluctuations in the current of your experience. Joy and disappointment commingle with opportunities. So there is no need to fear the occasional obstacle. Life is not a sprint. This card is a reminder that you have endurance, strength, and fortitude to carry you all the way. Remain true to yourself. Your authenticity alone will keep you in alignment with the energy of miracles. What is yours will never be withheld from you. Remember that. So, Virgo. The card symbolizes enjoying the journey of life rather than getting hung up on the negative aspects. And I think it's something that every sign could really work on. But today, Virgo, this is your reading, and there's a situation that you're involved in that may be causing a lot of anxiety, but understand that this situation is meant to be. So no matter what, this person, place, or thing that is destined to be in your life, if it's not there right now, it will come back. So let's see what the tarot has to say about going the distance. And what's meant to be in Virgo's life. All right, Virgo, so the energy that I'm picking up here is I feel like you're having 
some doubts about how to move forward in a situation, how to move forward in a relationship or endeavor, okay? I feel like there's this sense of loss, sense of guilt, that you are feeling within this situation. You may be feeling like this is your fault, when in fact, I feel like there's going to be some secrets revealed within this situation with the High Priestess here that's going to bring some light to the situation. I do get the sense that you are taking a step back. You are, with the Nine of Wands here, planning, trying to weigh the pros and cons in the situation to plan your next movement forward. There also may be information that comes forward that helps make a decision within this situation, if I didn't say that already. I do feel like you are moving away from anything that's dishonest, anything that you can no longer trust. And what you thought was the best choice for your happiness is not what it seemed to be. And I feel like that's what these secrets coming forward are. Don't be afraid to walk away from things that are misleading and breaking trust. I feel like if the person was meant to be in your life, They'll learn from this and they will come back around. And that's what I feel go the distance. You have to pay attention, Virgo, to your happiness, to how you're feeling, your emotions, right? And you have to make the best decision depending on your happiness. And even if you feel like something is meant to be and this person is meant to be in your life, but they're disrespectful, they always overstep boundaries, you gotta stay, take a step back to show this person, you know, even though I love you, I have to walk away for my own personal happiness. I do feel like there's this sense of spiritual growth within this situation, um, moving to the next level, the next phase in life. It's been coming up prominent in all readings, a, tra a sense of transformation. I feel like it's really with the collective. But for you, Virgo, I feel like reviewing the past details and planning your next steps is what's going to bring in this bright future, this understanding of what your life's purpose really is, okay? The goddess guidance cards that we have are easy does it. There's no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. Easy does it. We already have made aware this is a transformation. You're experiencing enormous change right now. Even though these changes feel burdening at the time, at this moment, they're bringing in great blessings. We also have the Ten of Autumn, which is the Ten of Pentacles. This card signifies generational wealth, um, taking steps to secure your financial security for not only yourself, but for your loved ones as well. Okay. That to me tells me something big is in the works. Just saying. Now we have Hather, receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. Receptivity tells me it's like the flow of money. 
you have to spend money in order to receive money. You have to give in order to receive. It's a flow. It's an energetic flow. It's in money. It's in energy. It's in time. So be aware that if there's a situation that you've been giving time and money and effort to, you will, this will come back around to you in some shape or form. It's a karmic balance that takes place, okay? Is basically what Hather symbolizes. Be easy on yourself. Also, I am seeing a lot of colorful, the rainbows are standing out to me. So that tells me that a chakra cleanse could help. I did link a playlist below in the description. If it's something you're interested in, you can also follow them. It's Meditation Music, um, their channel. No affiliation. I just love the beats that they play. So thank you again so much, Virgo, for all your love and support. Thank you for liking and subscribing to the channel. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.